Welcome everyone, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with new Eagles defensive tackle Halode Nata. We welcome you to Philadelphia. Uh, how much time have you spent in Philly over your long NFL career? Um, just uh, playing here really. And no then, trips, no road trips from so Baltimore? We, well, one time I came up and uh, Vice Sekahema was doing a celebrity boxing thing. So oh up, yeah, against came, Jose Canseco. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I came and supported him for that. Um, why Philly? Um, why not? Yeah. You know, the defensive line is stacked and uh, I just couldn't be more excited to play against another with another dominant defensive tackle and, and Cox and with Timmy and Destiny and then the DNs and so it's just it got so ex I just got so excited when um, Eagles came calling and I'm like no way are you serious like Eagles want me to want me to play for them and they already have a stacked defensive line then you trade for Michael Bennett and I'm like yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's it, do it. So, I mean, in, in truth, that that really is th – this is a deep, deep, talented line. I can't remember – been doing this for a long time. You don't know me. But I can't remember – all the way back to the Reggie White days, I can't remember a group as deep, potentially, and talented as this group. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm like you. I don't, yeah. I don't remember. But um, I'm just happy to be a part of it, and hopefully we can just continue what, we, what they've been doing here and um, get another championship. For those fans who remember you from your days in Baltimore, dominant Pro Bowler every mm -hmm. year, Super Bowl winner, what is this Halode like versus that Halode? I'm just older and wiser, better looking. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> a little more gray hair. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just learned a lot. You know, I was, just, I was in Baltimore just 3-4, and then I went to Detroit and played 4-3. So I understand the defense now, um, the way they want to attack. Uh, and then, you know, I was trying to, copy Schwartz um, defense out in Detroit. So, you know, just, I know I just got to learn some of the terminology and then, um, you know, just get back into it again. And uh, I'm just excited to be back and hopefully I can contribute and, and make a lot of big plays for the Eagles. What kind of reputation does Jim's scheme have around the league? I mean, do defensive linemen talk about it and go, wow, I'd love to play in that scheme? Yeah, um, you know, I, we just know it's attacking defense. You know, the way you see the D linemen getting upfield and, and the linebackers filling the holes and, um, it's just exciting um, attacking defense, and so I'm just glad to be a part of it. For those who label you as a run stuffer, fair, not fair, not complete? Um, I mean, it is what it is. I gotta, I gotta get more sacks for them to <laughs> unlabel me uh, a run stuffer. <laughs> what is the key to being so great inside? Um, honestly, I think it's just staying healthy, really. Uh, do you, if, as long as you take care of your body off the field, um, then you can perform at your best. and. Uh, it, I, I love the things I've seen here with, you know, the, what they do with uh, rehabbing and, you know, just recovering with the center down, down the hall. And um, I was just, it got me excited because it just, it shows that, the, you know, they really care about their guys being healthy and staying healthy and um, keeping their bodies uh, feeling good for the game. Hello, what got you into the game of football? What made you love the game of football? It first started with my brothers. I just wanted to be like my brothers, um, but they were running backs and linebackers and, no, I'm not. Have you ever carried the ball ever? No. Ever? Rugby, but, okay. not, yeah. <laughs> but not football. Um, so they got me started. And then just high school, learning how to you know watch film, workouts, and um, that's when I kind of started falling in love with it. Is it a game that you just kind of want to play until you just don't love it no mo? <laughs> mm -hmm. I or love it too much. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, I know, exactly. Yeah. I love it too much. I don't know if it'll ever stop. Yeah. But yeah, like Why? you said. What, what, what makes you love it? What, what, what about the I, game do you love? I love the camaraderie. I think that that's you know, one of the things um, that is so special. You know, you'll never get to meet another group of guys uh, from all walks of life, you know, that come from so many different um, cultures and so many different areas and uh, to come together to win a championship, that's so special. And that feeling that you have that it, it's, uh, it, you'll never have that feeling again. So I love that feeling. Um, and then the grind, I love the, the film watching, the workouts, the. Um, just the dog days of camp. It, it's just, it, it's all, I've been around it for so long that I just love it so much. That it's, um, uh, these days are not, you know, they're numbered, you know. Yeah. I'll never play this game forever. Um, so taking it all in and, and I just love, you know, everything about football and, and after all that, it's physical. I love to hit people. So <laughs> we love to hear that. Philly <laughs> is a big sports town and obviously in a defensive town. It, it's interesting, we're still in the very, kind of the fresh days after winning the Super Bowl. And I think everybody you talk to goes, hey, what was so special was the chemistry in the locker room. So many players hurt last year and players filled in. It was really an extraordinary culture. Mm -hmm. When you think back to the great days in Baltimore, 
is that why you won the Super Bowl? Because of, in, in large part, what happened in the yeah. locker room? So the way we grew to uh, know each other and love each other, really, I mean, you just you become brothers and you're, um, y you just know that you can trust the person next to you, no matter who it is, because you've been through the season together. And so when you get into that playoffs, you know that your tightness, your uh, camaraderie is going gonna, gonna to push you through to the end. And um, you could see that with the Eagles last year in the playoffs and, I, and it was fun to watch and just it's uh, very addicting and I want to be a part of it. Do players root for a team in the Super Bowl if you're playing for another team? Um, you know, no, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't did you root for the Eagles? Um, you can tell uh, us mainly, now. Mainly I did because I had a lot of former teammates on the Eagles team, um, like from Baltimore. Yeah, with, know, Torrey with Torrey and with Timmy. And yeah. other B, yep. Timmy yep. and uh, Corey Graham. Yep. So it's just, yeah, you had a lot of former Ravens that I played or players that I played with. and. Uh, so it's hard not to root um, for the Eagles. So just to educate you, we hate the Cowboys, um, like with a huge yeah. passion. Giants, of course, yeah. Redskins, of course. Um, and the crowd here in Philadelphia, they will love you because you love to hit people, you love to yes. play defense. The crowd here is absolutely extraordinary. It's a wonderful yeah. sports town, and we welcome you to Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank Hello, Dinata. Thank you for joining me in studio. Thanks for watching, everyone.